Hello everyone, glad to have you with me, CK Too Much here, back at it again with Queen Daenerys Stormborn of Astapor. Uh, so in the last episode, guys, we came out of the Red Waste, came out of Karth, and settled down in Astapor. So uh, unlike Daenerys in the books and in the shows, uh, after we overthrew the Good Masters and led the Unsullied to liberate the city, uh, we have decided to stay in Astapor rather than going to, and build up a power base uh, from which we could conquer the rest of Slaver's Bay. Unlike in the show where, or in the books where she kind of just moves as a conquering army. Uh, in my opinion, I think that makes much more sense uh, than the way that she did it. And I think it'll lead to some more stability. Uh, but okay, D uh, Drogon is finally of age to uh, give us the Cassus Belli for a dragon conquest. And that's what we are going to do now. Also, uh, I have lost the Widower trait, so we are considering uh, what we should do about Daenerys's, uh, you know, future. I'm thinking about marrying her to Arrain Waters. So, the Valerian bastard he agreed to come to Daenerys's court, probably because House Valerian was interested in what was happening with Daenerys, and he trained me uh, how to be a good diplomat. And I think he would actually also be a really good match for marriage, but. Um, I have the intention of changing my culture to Giscari and embracing their religion as well. So I might rather choose to marry a nobleman from the region or to create one of my own, actually. Because, um, so let me lead this army myself, but we have uh, Gigek. So he is an expert fighter who has agreed to serve us. I could raise him to nobility, uh, you know, Daener Danny has a thing for warriors, so could be a good option as well. But let me know what you guys think about Danny's uh, marriage. Uh, okay, so I want to bring my men to Slaver's Row Road, but I'm going to actually change this name. Maybe this might be a little cheesy, but I'm going to change Slaver's Road to Liberator's Road. Uh, so a little cheesy, but. You know, we have to have some good uh, PR, yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's march our guys here in preparation for the invasion. Oh, interesting. So, Roos. Huh. So, Roos has somehow gotten some claim on the throne. And he is uh, attacking Joffrey himself. Very interesting. Also, Rob Stark died of, of flu. Uh, so now Brandon is actually in charge, which is very interesting. Um, okay, so we'll keep an eye on things going on there. Oh, um, also Aegon was defeated, yeah? Yeah, and he is still in prison. Not really any way of getting him out of prison. So we'll keep an eye on him. He could also be a potential good match. Sometimes Joffrey lets him go. Maybe he'll just cut off his hand. <clears throat> okay. So uh, I will go ahead and start my guys moving towards uh, Melk. It's a funny name. Oh, one of my vassals, Master Hazrak of Slaver's Road. Uh, he's not of Slaver's Road anymore, so we should, yeah, we should also name this Castle of Liberator's Road. Oh, whoops. I guess he'll keep the family name out of spite. But anyway, so uh, he's having a big match big screaming match with his wife but that does not concern me so it's none of my business I'll leave him be okay so what is oh pause 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 what's going on here so this guy is defending against the plaza of ambition who's he what's it uh-huh okay so just just an internal civil war going on but okay, so we will go ahead and declare the Dragon Conquest slash Liberation of Yunkai. Uh, and I will get the rest of my forces in Astapor. 
Um, that way I can fly my guys between. I can fly Daenerys and her dragon between these armies in case someone does, you know, come to Astapor. Uh, okay. So, uh, looks like we will immediately win this large battle uh, of milk here. That's a really funny name. Sounds like a funny way to say milk. Okay, so I can have his family put in the dungeon. Or I could put them into house arrest. Let's do that. Uh, maybe I could... Uh, he doesn't have any money. But we have some hostages, so that's good. I'm a little wary about uh, using the dragons in the siege. Ah, Stannis has been captured. Okay, so Stannis is gone, and Marine has joined in against us. Okay. Uh, I'm a little wary of using uh -huh, New Gis as well. Uh, I'm kind of scared to use the dragon in sieges just because they can get wounded and you know Drogon is so young that he can be easily wounded I think but I think we can win this battle at least and that should really help oh wow I was gonna deploy the dragon in the battle but the, didn't need to uh, all right so big victory for us here uh, so we'll just keep our guys here at Yunkai. And I'm not going to use them quite yet. Okay, so he has taken Stannis' crown. Still in prison, not dead. Uh, okay. Uh, and we got the rest of our guys here. Okay, so I'm going to keep them here. Uh, let's have uh, Ricaro. I'll move you over here, and then if I need to fly my guys back, to, uh, if I need to fly Daenerys, I keep saying my guys, Daenerys back to the capital for defensive purposes, we can do that. Unless we have two battles at once. I guess if we have two battles at once, I would move them here. But we'll see. Oh, okay. Uh, so, these are hills, so Daenerys will move you here. Temporarily. And once the... Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and deploy the dragon in battle. Dracaris. Alright. So Jogo has suffered some bad wounds. Oof. That's not good. But uh, we have emerged victorious. Alright. And we have... Um, Dazak Zodazak has been captured. 80 years old. Oh, wow. And we got the head of Marine. Very nice. Uh, I could visit his chambers, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. 250 gold for the king of the great master of Marine. Sounds good to me. Okay. So that'll be nice to have that in our coffers. And, uh, I don't know who this guy is. Can I ransom him? No. He's probably going to die in prison. Uh, you know, we're not kind, so I don't think I'm going to put him in, you know, house arrest. But okay, um, I will fly my dragon over here once the Yunkai army gets closer. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's put uh, Daenerys back there. Joffrey's gotten his hands on Lightbringer. Does that mean that he killed Stannis? No. How is he taking these? I, I They never let me take artifacts. Uh, okay. Any minute now. Okay, and here we are. So, uh, deploy dragon in battle. So the enemy... Are beyond counting their ranks uh, reach beyond the horizon armor shining in the midday sun your dragon roars in eager anticipation and you cannot help savoring your victory so dracaris so the land is consumed by water of uh, dragon fire and daenerys is responsible so we'll take a little bit of an opinion hit there but that's okay and it looks like some of the commanders have been killed 
or burnt. Ah, oh no, and Drogon has become wounded. Okay, well, could have been worse. Uh, wounded obviously is not good, but it is better than uh, maimed. Maimed, I think, basically he can't do anything. Um, so I'll take wounded. Okay, and Jora is improving my guys. Okay. And, uh, okay, so Joffrey gets some random book in his treasury. I don't really want these updates. Uh, Alright, guys, I'll just do a quick little quick save here. Okay. Oh, yeah, there was an autosave coming up anyway. All right, so uh, we're almost done sieging Yunkai. I hope we don't have to do another battle in Astapor, but we'll wait and see. Okay, we've almost taken this city. I don't think it'll really be enough, but we'll see. If we can get our hands on him, it would be, but he's... Oh, phew! Okay, so Drogon has healed to full uh, fighting strength. Alright, so they have taken back Melk, but uh, they look like they're also marching down towards Astapor. Uh, and once they do, I'll come back and take it. Alright, so Yunkai held many slaves, that is, until your army liberated them. The decadent slave owners can only watch as your men free every last slave, granting them all the freedom. All right, that's wonderful. Uh, okay, can I, okay, so I'm gonna put Daenerys here and see if we can catch up with them in Melk. I cannot get over that name, that cannot be how you pronounce it, Melk. Uh, okay, so this guy has got, okay, random updates from Joffrey. Okay, this battle actually might help a bit. We're already at 63. Ah, not quite. Okay. 72, okay, that's pretty good. Um, okay. You know what, I'll bring them a little bit closer. I kind of don't think we'll have to worry. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay. So we have the Yunkai army coming down to Liberator's Road. What, what, what? Brandon accepted Joffrey's peace offer. So they had a truce. The, uh, so Joffrey has won. Okay, and Brandon has been in prison. All right. So it looks like Joffrey was ultimately successful. Okay, so they have taken Liberator's Road. So that's not good. Are they still there? I can't. Okay, no. Uh, okay, so let's go take them out in Yunkai. I'll see if I can grab Liberator's Road. Okay. Oh. oh okay, so Stannis was mauled back to death by a bear uh, on the orders of Joffrey. Damn, that sucks. Uh. Okay, can we get them out of there? Yes. All right. So I think they've learned not to uh, attack my small number of men. And this is a mountainous terrain, so our dragon's not as effective there, unfortunately. But maybe they'll try their luck at the city. Okay, here they come. Uh, so let me put Daenerys there. All right, let's see if uh, luck can strike twice. Okay. I have a funny habit of quick saving before an auto save. <laughs> uh, okay, so they're coming in to Astapor. Uh, oh, the king of New Geese was captured by Karth. Very interesting. Uh, Oh, okay, so they were already attacking Karth on a slave raid, and now he's been captured, so Karth's not really on our side, but they just happen to be at war. 
at the same time. Okay, so let's deploy uh, Drogon in battle again. And he has avoided being wounded, so that's great. Okay, another victory. Uh, let's see if we can recreate it. We got another one coming. Ooh, so Joffrey has taken ice. Whenever I try to take Valerian swords from people, it never works. So I don't know why he's having so much luck. All right, and once again, uh, oh, what is this? So the Master of Marine has been severely burned in the battle. That's great. Uh huh. Okay, so now we're studying the Valerian conquest against the Giscari Empire. Good thing to study, I think. Good thing to study. Uh, okay, so we've been victorious yet again. You know what? I'm gonna march our guys down to Malk. I cannot get over that name. That name is so funny. Uh, all right, and if we take that and take them out, I think we'll be in good shape. So let's go. Oh, okay, so, uh, hmm. So his Dar wants to command armies rather than Ego. I could use diplomacy to make him F off. Ago already likes me a lot, so you know what? Yeah, his Dar. Go for it. You should lead my armies. Uh, in fact... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oof. Little panic attack there. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have two battles going on. I definitely need the dragon down there, because they're outnumbered. Uh, you know what, Hizdar? Maybe you can uh, lead this army. Lead them against the, Mir the Miranese. You can prove your worth. So once again, let's deploy the dragon in battle. Dracaris. Uh, excellent. Okay, so the wise master has again been burnt. He was burnt so badly he's become depressed. Um, that's that's the one of the worst symptoms from dragon burns is depression. All right. So I think we're getting to the end of this war. All right. Arrain, just wait, just wait. I will find you someone nice. Please do not get married. Uh, all right, so we can maybe get a little bit of money from this guy. Perfect. And let's take back Liberator's Road. Uh, I'll let him, no, I'm not gonna let him stay in house arrest. I'm sure he has plenty of slaves who are not. Okay, so we're at 93%, so I think one more battle and we've basically got this in the bag. So let's go take them down at the horns of Hazat. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll call it a day. Okay. One more. Almost done. Almost done. Let's see if maybe if we take out this Chaldean army. All right, let's see. Oh, if let's see if we can get uh, Daenerys in command here for our final little battle. All right, so that has done it. So we can go ahead and take Yunkai for ourselves. Uh, okay. So we got to keep. Uh, Vada, 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 Vadhan, Vadhadam, uh, for ourselves. Um, I want to do a few more revocations because, as I said, I really, I really do not like. Um, I really do not like having the mixed governments um, in command here. All right, so let me get my guys together at Milk, and we'll do a little bit of consolidation here. Uh, okay. All right, so let's get our guys together. So as for Kaldeen, uh, he says maybe he'll accept the revocation. 
Why can't I revoke your title? Must be my direct vassal. It says right here that he is. <laughs> um, I guess I can also ransom these prisoners. Although 10 gold really isn't uh, that much. Oh, okay. So Roos has signed. Okay. So it looks like he has surrendered, but was not imprisoned, which is interesting. Uh, okay, so we have a lot of independence wars being declared up north. Okay, I'll have to go check on what the map's looking like over there. All right, so he has accepted this ransom. Let's see if we can get this ransom too. <clears throat> uh, it's come to my attention that uh, his star, so Greslar, has been plotting a conspiracy against me. Some would say that is sedition. Uh, can I have him end his plot? So I can imprison him. Hmm, all right. Well, you know what? Uh, I will keep this to myself for now. Um, for some reason, I can't revoke his title. I don't really understand why. It says I need to be his direct vassal, but... Okay, whatever. So then let's start with this guy. Um, he says maybe. I'm going to go ahead and move my guys up to Chaldean, just so we're ready. If he does launch a rebellion, we could possibly take advantage of that. But once once we've consolidated things here, we'll move up to Marine. It's possible we'll be able to take both of them in this episode, so we'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, so let's give this a shot. Hopefully he'll just say yes. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like uh, Mr. Hisdar has decided uh, to go against me as well. Well, all right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. So they think they're safe behind uh, the rock and mortar, but they are not. Drukaris. And let's see, uh, okay, to be honest, that did not really do too much. But, uh, you know, it got the ball rolling. Uh, okay, why am I getting information about Mace? Oh, interesting, Joffrey's in hiding. Is there a siege going on at King's Landing? Hard to say, oh, maybe from this guy. Uh, he is trying to get independence for himself. Hold on, let me take a look up north. So, ah, okay. So the Starks were defeated, and it looks like Joffrey let Brandon go. But his vassals have decided to push for their own independence and continue the fight. Well, that's pretty respectable, to be honest. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I clicked on the wrong place on the map. Uh, okay. So... Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Uh -huh. Okay. So we'll wait a little bit longer for... Ah, okay, so Jor is hard at work. Let's send him to heighten morale. Uh, let's wait. Okay, so let's deploy Drogon again. I want to end this war as soon as possible. Okay, uh, kind of. I don't want to use my men in an assault. I feel like that would be kind of wasteful. Uh, but we will see. I think we've almost done it. Almost made it. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I'm going to split my guys in half. And I will send Ricaro with one half of them down to the Liberator's Road. Stop them from taking that. Okay, well, I think I'm going to, um, once I'm done with this conflict, uh, I think I will give it to maybe this family. Wait, there's no castle title? Oh, it is a castle, but why is he a republic? Hmm. That is rather odd. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, so some maester was impaled on a stake by Joffrey. So Joffrey is having a, a field day with some of these executions. Um, 
Okay, one more. Let's deploy Drogon. And now we can assault. All right. Okay, so we're at 45. Uh, we'll move these guys down to the Horns of Hazat. And we'll also take back Liberator's Road, which really has unfairly suffered uh, in this war. All right, Rikara, let's see if we can catch these guys at Astapor. Uh, interesting. Okay, so Mazdan, <clears throat> Mazdan of Doza is trying to get some claims on Astapor. Maybe I can make him disappear. No, not successful. Well, that's all right. Uh, oh, okay, so it looks like there's a legendary warrior nearby who Daenerys might be interested in getting some teachings from. Okay, so we've pretty much got this in the bag, looks like. Uh, all right, there we go. So I could have his whole family put in the dungeon. Now, this is interesting. We have Azak Zograslar. Uh, he is this guy's father. Is he his heir as well? No, it's this guy. But this is his son. Hmm. Now, I could marry him, but he's not really that impressive. But uh, I will have his family put in house arrest. Did this give me the cruel? No, okay. So, yeah, we will offer peace and end this war. So he is actually, he has not been arrested. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try and imprison him as well. It has failed, so he has declared war. Well, that's all right. Uh, so you will have your title revoked, sir. And now, you, Grazdan of Vadahan, uh, I will give you Vadahan. Please be, okay, good. And I will also give you this title of the Copper Hills. So you will also get Kaldin. Uh, okay. And I will also give you the High Lordship of the Copper Hills. So hopefully that has won you over to my side at least a little bit. I also wouldn't mind changing his house name to just Vadahan. Okay. I think it looks a bit better. <laughs> he takes his name from the river. Uh, okay. So, so we got that taken care of. That's good. So now we'll have to take care of the these guys. Um, I'll put some guys in house arrest, I think. I could probably ransom some of them. Let's start with the women. Because I might need to use those guys later. Uh, okay. Oh, did I get the trait cruel? No. Okay, good. Uh... All right, so how about you go down to Dozai? Uh, maybe Drogon, we can use you in this siege as well. And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and assault. Ah, he's not gonna pay the ransom, okay. Ah, Arain, 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 all right. I, I think I'm gonna marry him. I think I'm gonna marry him. All right, so let's go ahead and offer peace. All right. So, yeah, I think uh, he will no longer have the High Lordship of Worm Rither River. That is for sure. Or should I just execute him? It would give me 10 fear. That would be good. Wouldn't lower anyone's opinion of me. But he is a traitor. Uh, I could give it to one of them instead. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Um, I wish I could revoke both titles. Mm, okay, so I'll go ahead and revoke this from him. 
And I think I will also take Hazat as well. All right, so who hates me least, less? You or you? Okay, you hate me less. So I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, the High Lordship of Worm River. Okay, and look at that. And now he's in a stronger position. Before it was split between three. Now it's split between two. And he seems to like me quite a bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to change his name as well because I don't like these generic title names. I'm just going to make him Geddes. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, guys, so I think we can call it a day for this episode. There's still some, I guess, internal drama going on with, with them. Uh... I'm not really 100% sure. So he, they are attacking to get rid of this guy, basically. And he is losing. I wonder if I could get him to end the war. Let's see if he'll agree. So the vote on whether to command him to end the war has been taken. The vote is tied, so I will issue the command. Okay, so he has refused to stand down. <sighs> can I command you to surrender? Uh, I just kind of want to end the war so I can, um, you know, take some steps to get rid of them. But okay, I will go ahead and... Can I execute him without any punishment? No, it'll be tyranny. Uh, all right, well... Who is the... I think I'll just let them all go. Maybe get some ransom. Uh, no, you can stay where you are. You know what? I'm just going to let them go. So these guys, they don't really yeah, refuse to pay the ransom. Ah, Grolio has died a natural death. So we need a new Master of Whispers. Uh, you know, Arain is a pretty good Master of Whispers, so you know what? Let's go ahead and we will reassign him to be the Master of Whispers. And I'll get uh, Barkaz of Worm... Hmm. No, you know what? Yeah, Grazdan of Copper Hills. You will be my new uh, Master of Laws. And sure, Razdal of Malk, maybe... Temporarily, you can be Hand of the King. Although, I don't think that's going to last long. But okay, anyway. So, we can go ahead and lower our levies. And we will send our guys to Yunkai. Alright, guys. So, um, we have defeated Yunkai and dealt with some of the fallout. It looks like there's still some fallout uh, going on. Oh, what is this? So Euron has taken control. So he was elected after Balin died under suspicious circumstances. Very interesting. So it looks like we have some Euron drama going on. But okay. Um, all right, guys. So I'm really, really, really thinking about marrying Orain. I think it's better to do it now while I can still have children. So you know what? Um, let me get my guys together in Yunkai. So we've we've conquered the region. We've um, while rearranging this high lordship, we also got the chance to shuffle things over here. Once this drama is done in Yunkai, uh, we can further rearrange things. Part of me wants to get involved right now, even. Although my council would not like that. Okay, let me get my guys up here in... Uh, in Kai. Also wouldn't mind building a dragon pit. You know what, we're going to go ahead and do that. Part of me wanted to save that money to rebuild the old capital, but I think we'll get our hands on that money later on. Uh, and Hazrak, please begin construction. Plus, you know, if we do build our capital here, it would still be nice to have some dragon pits around the area. 
All right, so in the next episode, guys, I'm hoping to further consolidate things in Yunkai, but also maybe we'll take this chance to go ahead and conquer Marine as well. Now, I'm going to think about our reign and whether or not I should marry him. Uh, I think it's honestly an okay decision. Yeah, alright guys, I'm gonna think about that. Let me know what you think, if you have any opinions about who I should marry. Part of me wants to marry a Giscari nobleman, because I am going to change my culture and religion. But I really wouldn't mind having a good uh, husband either. And they would, you know, kind of continue to give us our appearance as uh, Valerians. So let me know uh, what you guys think uh, in the comments. But I'll also think about it. I have a strong feeling that I'll probably go through with that marriage in the next episode. But okay, guys, join me next time for further consolidation in Yunkai and the conquest of Marine. So thanks, guys.